Good morning, students. Let's start with our today's session. Good morning, one. Welcome to the next session of your computer classes. Today's topic that we will be covering is deselecting and selecting the icons, selecting adjacent icon and non-adjacent icons, arranging the desktop icons. and organizing the desktop uh, icons from your chapter number 4 we are continuing from the part which the last ma'am has taught we'll be starting with the new session or the new class with with the following topics which are being shown on your screen so then let's begin the session the last point the last part which we which was being covered in your previous session was opening yeah it was uh up to here where you had studied about opening an application we will be moving with selecting and deselecting the icons let's start with the chapter to select an icon click on it the icon is highlighted to deselect an icon click anywhere outside it the icon will get deselected what they are trying to say is if you want to select any icon like if i want to select on this icon i have to double click on it like dekhi once i have uh, double click it get little bit more highlighted and if i want to deselect it i will click on somewhere else in the screen and the icon will get deselected i'll show you again if i have to select any icon i will double i will click on it it will get highlighted okay and if i have to deselect it i will click somewhere else and the icon will get deselected selecting adjacent and non adjacent icons following are the steps for selecting adjacent and non adjacent icons now how we we can select an adjacent icons let's start with it to select adjacent icons follow these step click on the first icon to be selected press and hold the shift key from the keyboard click on the last icon to be selected release the shift key all the adjacent icons are selected what we are trying to say is if we want to select on something okay if you want to select on something or some icon click on the first icon okay and click on the last icon while clicking it is being to be remember it is to be mandatory that the shift button should be pressed so once you have clicked on the first icon press the shift button key and click on the last icon so all the adjacent uh, icons or the files which are being in between them will get selected this is how you select the adjacent icons i'll again show if you have to select the first icon you select the first icon keep pressing your shift key from the keyboard and click on the last icon no need to click on each and every folder just click on the last icon all the icons and the folders available between your first and the last icon will get selected this is selecting the adjacent icons second selecting non adjacent adjacent icons to select non adjacent icons follow the step press and hold control key from the keyboard click on each icon which you wish to select all the icons which you clicked are selected now sometimes it happens that we don't want to uh, select all the icons we will uh, we require some random icons or in between icons or folders so that is being taught here how to select only individual icons like i will first click on music button it will get selected okay 
after that i don't want the video folder so what i have to do once i'll click on music i have to keep pressing my ctrl control button from the keyboard i'll keep pressing it and i'll uh, while pressing it i'll select only those folder which i am required okay so what will happen only those folders which are being required will get selected and the folders which are not required will not get selected so for uh, clicking or for selecting only selected folders you will require control button you will you will require to keep pressing the control button from the keyboard and selecting on the folders which you require and if you are talking about the upper part here you have to click on shift button and on the first and the last folder so that all the folders between these will get selected so i have mentioned you how to uh, select adjacent icons and non adjacent icons now arranging the desktop icons your desktop can have icons scattered all over it can be here and there many of people are not uh, being properly placing their icons on the desktop so what happens is you have to uh like in the uh, diagram itself you uh, you can see that these folders are scattered here and there they are not properly arranged some some is lying here some is lying there so and here on your next uh image it is being shown and placed properly okay so how you can properly arrange the icons on your desktop to give your desktop a better look you can arrange the desktop icons to arrange the desktop icon on the desktop follow the step right click on the blank area of the desktop a pop up menu appears click click on keep aligned option and observe the change as you can see on the screen when you click on a uh, empty space or the blank space this folder will come and in this folder you have to select keep aligned option when you will click on this it will align the icons as shown here that means it will properly arrange the desktop icons on the desktop okay next organizing the desktop icons you can organize the icons of the desktop in an alphabetical order also that is the application starting with name a alphabetical order may uh, uh, they will be saved or they will be arranged in alphabetical order the program icon starting with a will come first then b then c and then d so it is also uh, it is also applicable that we can arrange the desktop icon alphabetically what we have to do we have to click on the right click on the blank area jo humne uh, we have done in the last part also a pop up menu will appear and from that pop up menu click on or uh, organize desktop by name okay right click on the blank area of the desktop a pop up menu appears click on the organize desktop by name option all the icons of the same type are arranged in an alphabetical order 